We're still talking about letting it flow. Letting it flow. So, what system are we referring to? Yes, blood, the circulatory system. So just real quick, because we don't have a whole lot of time here, here are some reasons why our circulation might be um, slowed down, okay? Here's some common reasons. Smoking is a surefire for sur slow circulation or poor circulation. Also, years and years of no exercise can lead to <coughs> bad circulation. It doesn't happen overnight. Even though you might wake up one day and it's like, hey, wait a minute, this area is numb, or there's pain here, or something's wrong. Uh, it's, it develops over time. God is amazing, I'm telling you. Grace and mercy. Okay? <laughs> Amen. So when we realize that there's cholesterol, it's built up over time. But I'm a vegan now. Over time. So that means our past may be catching up to us. Okay? And so even sometimes we're eating good food, but if we're not, if we don't have good health practices, it's not going to matter much, you know, because you're going to still be collecting mucus and collecting, you know, all the debris. So, okay, um, eating too much junk food, yes, junk food can come in the form of vegan food as well. Okay. Um, eating too much junk food with little changes at first can lead to quick improvements, though. So don't think that you shouldn't become, you know, a plant-based vegetarian because it can help. It'll help slow things down, and especially if you do things to help reverse it, okay? And again, in prayer, right? Because God can do anything. He's our great physician. Um, Work-related issues such as sitting too long at a computer for years can cause these problems as well, especially if you don't take regular breaks or exercise, um, you know, a few times a week. So you want to exercise at least three times a week, at least. But the best time after is after you eat, right? Just take 15 minutes one way. Yes, move your arms, take deep breaths while you're out there. Even in the snow, it's kind of nice. Come back in and it's nice and warm, right? You're always going back into warm. So <laughs> remember that. Um, okay, give yourself a few minutes of, um, or uh, off every couple of hours. Then it can help you. So again, rest. You don't want to overwork yourself. Um, so... So some things that you want to be able to do, there's some really good um, foods and herbs if you, that you can add to um, your diet, um, <clears throat> which will help to uh, you in this situation. So one of the good herbs is, you ready for this? It's a little hot. The cayenne pepper. Cayenne is good. It's, a, it's an actual herb that will help heal even an ulcer. Okay. Yeah. Some people say, no, not, not cayenne, but because of the capsaicin in it, it's high in um, vitamin C, and it's a healing herb. We use, we've used it in our restaurant. Every time we cut ourselves, you know, those knives are really sharp. Um, and remember Denzel's finger accident? Cayenne pepper helps to stop the blood um, from uh, the bleeding. Anyway, but you can use cayenne pepper, and you start off with maybe a fourth of a teaspoon, in water and drink it every day, every day. It will help to clear mm -hmm. um, the, the arteries. Mm -hmm. And you, you can work yourself up to a teaspoon. <laughs> also garlic. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. can, oh, also can. garlic. Uh -huh. um, if we are, if you guys are on blood thinners, garlic is a blood thinner. Well, you guys know that? Mm -hmm. Hi, Jen. But if, you, if you're under doctor's care, of course, you need to check in with your medical provider as well, because... No, you don't. Yes. <laughs> yes, you do. Because you don't want to take garlic with, right? No, you don't want to take and garlic And the same with thing it. with um, the grapefruit. Grapefruit, you can use, uh, take, what, half two grapefruits a day. Um, and that will also help with, yes, with your circulation. All right, uh, since you mentioned the grapefruit, 
three weeks ago. I've been eating two grapefruits a day, and I have feeling back in my feet. Nice. Praise the Lord. Amen. And they're warm. And they're warm. Praise God. And warm, huh? You're feeling it. Feel the warmth. Amen. Yes? Question. You were talking about getting up to pick a teaspoon of cayenne. Would you do that all at once in water, or if you're getting that high, are you doing a half and half? Yeah, you can do Yeah. You can do it all at once in, in a glass, a tall glass of water, right? Or eight, eight ounces, or a small one. Micah says, just get the kick, <laughs> make it small, take it to the head and be done with it, right? Um, and then follow it up with water, okay, with more water, okay? All right, well, there's other things too, ginkgo biloba, but you wanna, that one can be a little um, tricky. So you want to be doing that with someone who's knowledgeable um, in the use of ginkgo, okay? All right. And water. You want to be drinking water. Remember, half your weight in ounces. Okay, time's up. So there are other things that we can talk about, and if you want to um, ask questions later, feel free to chat with us. Remember, God's way works. He's provided everything here for us. Amen? Amen. Have a happy Sabbath.